La Marseillaise is one of the most recognizable and iconic national anthems in the world, but very few people know how it was created and, most importantly, by whom. The person who composed La Marseillaise was named Claude-Joseph Roger de Lille. Interestingly, he was not a professional musician, but a French army officer. What's even more impressive is that he created the anthem in a single night under the influence of his patriotic feelings. No doubt, it's a genuine phenomenon rooted in the spontaneous creation of the musical masterpiece that not only resonated with the spirit of its time, but has also endured for centuries. Welcome to Personality Matters, the channel where we explore how people impacted the world. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. The creation of La Marseillaise was preceded by a series of significant events during the turbulent period of the French Revolution. The revolution started in 1789 due to widespread social and economic problems that plagued the country. Eventually, this led to the overthrow of the monarchy and the establishment of the First French Republic. However, the early stages of the French Revolution were quite complicated. They were marked by a mix of riots, protests, reforms, clashes between different groups and external pressures, all that made the situation explosive. Things got even more intense when King Louis XVI tried to run away from Paris in June 1791. He wanted help from other European countries against the revolutionaries, but when he got caught and brought back to Paris, it made the fight between the king and the revolutionaries even more challenging. Well, there was a concern that supporters of the monarchy might try to overthrow the new government in Paris. Furthermore, the authorities were worried that other European countries, especially Austria, might intervene to bring back the monarchy regime and quell the revolutionary movements. Eventually, France declared war on Austria in April 1792 as a response to the threat. However, King Louis XVI actually supported the war with Austria. Why? He hoped to weaken revolutionary forces within France and get support from other European monarchies, which were not okay with revolutionary ideas spreading across the continent. Well, as you can see, the danger during the French Revolution lied in the uncertainty and volatility of the situation both inside and outside the country. The story goes that a French army officer, Claude Joseph Roger de Lille, composed La Marseillaise in April 1792. The events leading to its creation took place in Strasbourg, where Roger de Lille was garrisoned. At the time, France had already declared war on Austria. The mayor of Strasbourg held a dinner for the officers of the garrison. While at the dinner, he expressed his displeasure that France didn't have a national anthem. Driven by patriotic sentiments and in a burst of excitement, Roger de Lille returned to his quarters and composed both the lyrics and the music for La Marseillaise. The story goes that Roger de Lille was so inspired that he wrote the anthem in a single night, even though he was an amateur musician. As quickly as La Marseillaise was created, it began to spread across the country in handwritten and printed form and gained enormous popularity among French people. Two months later, in July 1792, the battalion of Marseille volunteers, known as Federé, started a march to Paris to express their support for the revolutionary government and the ideals of the French Revolution. As they made their way through various towns, they sang La Marseillaise, and they performed La Marseillaise when they entered Paris. As you have probably guessed, La Marseillaise is called so because of its association with Marseille volunteers, who played a significant role in popularizing the anthem during the French Revolution. The next turning point to the revolution was the storming of Tuileries Palace in Paris on August 10, 1792. The Marseille volunteers were largely involved in the assault, and supposedly they accompanied it with the anthem that echoed through the city streets as a rallying cry. The events of that day marked the fall of the French monarchy and further propelled the anthem into the hearts of the revolutionaries. La Marseillaise became associated with key historical events of the revolution. The anthem was performed during significant moments of political and military upheaval, symbolizing the revolutionary spirit and the struggle for freedom. The anthem was composed at a time when France faced external threats and there was a need to boost the morale of the French people. La Marseillaise served this purpose, fostering a sense of unity among the diverse group of the population. The anthem's historical context and association with significant events contribute to its emotional impact and make it more memorable. The anthem has brisk and energetic tempo that creates a sense of urgency and momentum. The fast-paced rhythm helps engage the listener and makes the anthem feel dynamic. Thank you for watching Personality Matters. We talk about people who made the world. Until next time, I'm Arthur Kems.